Hey guys, it's Rogaway here, and I'm back with another tutorial. And, um, you know, this week we are looking at a few things, actually. We're, we're looking at um, actual t-shirt design, which is kind of cool. Um, allows you to kind of sit in the seat of a fashion designer type person who might be doing graphics for, you know, graphic tees or you know, a major company, um, whatever. But uh, again, graphic designers do all that. Um, but the other half of this is presenting or pitching your ideas to a client. And you know, a lot of clients out there are not going to be graphic minded. They're not gonna be thinking about fonts or colors or even the graphics we're using. They just know that they want something done that's going to look good and that's why they hire a graphic designer to do that. So what we can do is we can help our clients see the product before we actually produce it. All right, And t-shirts are a perfect example for this because you don't want to go and print up a bunch of t-shirts and then they say, oh I hate it. All right, So we can do something that's called a mock-up. And what a mock-up will allow us to do is create something that will show a client or show a, a potential customer what it's going to look like before we actually go and waste the money printing it or producing it. All right. So in this tutorial, we're going to use both Illustrator and Photoshop. And we're going to need a vector graphic that we're going to want on the shirt. And in this case, I picked on Mr. Trump. And in a lot of my tutorials, I'm, I bug I make fun of Trump, I'm sorry. But he's just so easy to, to make fun of. So uh, I'm, we're gonna open up the Trump t-shirt file. And it's done in Illustrator, it's all vector, and here it is. All right, so let's, let's say I wanted to make an amazing t-shirt with Trump's beautiful face on it. Okay, so here's our file. I just finished creating this in, in Illustrator, it's all vector, it's beautiful, it's ready to go onto the t-shirt. Now let's say you're doing this for a friend or a client and you say hey how does this look and they say oh it looks awesome and then you say well where do you want it and how do you want it to be on the shirt well and then they're gonna say I don't know show me some options so this is where a mock-up is going to come in very handy where you can help those people who are not graphic minded help them to see what this would look like okay so we're in Illustrator um, I'm just going to select all the lines. I can quickly do this by pressing Command A and I select everything. I could do that or I could just drag a selection around it. I could do that too. And I'm going to go Edit Copy or Command C or Control C if you're on a PC. Alright, so I'm just basically copying all the artwork to the pasteboard. Okay, so it's up there now. Okay, then I'm gonna just put Illustrator down. And by the way, it's very common as a designer to be using multiple programs at once. Um, a lot of times when I'm working on jobs for, for uh, clients, I'll have Illustrator open, I'll have Photoshop open, I'll have InDesign open all at once because I'm going back and forth between the programs all the time. But I do want to mention if your PC maybe is not able to handle it, your computer may not be the best at home or whatever, then you might have to open up a program, copy the artwork, close the program, go into the next one. In this case, I'm going to just put Illustrator down. And now I'm going to open up this mock-up file. It's called TN Mockup Kit. Double click it, open it, it opens with Photoshop. Okay, that's where it's going to go. It'll open with Photoshop. Now, this is a mock-up file. And you'll notice it's a t-shirt. There's nothing on it, obviously. It's blank. Um, and this is where we're going to actually get to see what this shirt would look like if we were to produce it. And again, the whole reason that you do this is so that you don't go and waste a t-shirt and then find out it looks bad. All right, You want to know that how it's going to look beforehand so you don't waste uh, the shirt. Inside here, you're going to want to look inside your layers. And uh, if you don't have your layers showing, go to Window go to layers, get them showing. You're going to notice inside the layers it's really nicely organized and it's organized in folders, uh, shadows and highlights, artwork, colors, label colors, backgrounds. Okay, kind of cool. 
what we're going to look at first is artwork. And so we're going to go into this layer by clicking this little down, little arrow to make it go down. And there will be a layer here called Paste Artwork Here. Pretty straightforward, right? So we're going to take this layer, we're going to be on this layer, it's going to be select, and we're going to go to Edit Paste or Command V or Control V if you're on a PC. And we're going to paste it in there as pixels. Now, this is an important step. Don't forget, we're coming from a vector program. We're coming from Illustrator. So when we're coming back into Photoshop, we have to convert those pic uh, vector objects into pixels. Okay, we could leave it as a smart object. It's not going to work so well. Uh, I'm not even going to explain what that is right now, but we will put it in as pixels. We're going to hit OK. And Mr. Trump's face is going to come into here. And it's going to allow us to scale it up so that we can decide on what size might look good on this shirt or whatever. And then we're going to hit return or enter to finalize that. Now you'll see it's nice and clean because it is vector. You'll also notice that you can see the little folds and shadows and cr like crinkles of the shirt through the design. And that's what this mock-up is doing is it, it is simulating this design on actual fabric in this case. There is one problem. If I drag this design out, you'll notice that it goes right off the edge of the shirt. And we want to actually fix that. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to make sure we're on this layer. We should still be on this layer. We're going to go to Edit Cut. Oh, that won't let me. I don't know why, but just hang on. i got a better way to do it. Press Command A. Okay, everything becomes selected. Make sure you're on that layer. And go Edit Cut. Trump disappears. This is one little weird glitch with this mock-up. It always does this. Now we're going to go on Paste Artwork here. Because you'll notice what it did is it made a new layer above it. We're going to now go on here and we're going to go Edit Paste. And now you'll notice that Trump's face is on the proper layer. And what we can do now is if we move it, whoops, I'm on the wrong layer. If we move it, why is that happening? Okay, hang on. i got to turn off Auto Select. If we move it, he'll now abide by the area that can actually be printed on the shirt. So let's say we wanted the design to kind of wrap around the side of the shirt. I don't know. Maybe that was an idea that you had. Uh, or maybe along the bottom or whatever, you know. Then it'll look proper uh, once it's on that layer. Otherwise, it's going to just go right off the edge. Okay. So now we got an idea, or at least a starting point, for what this shirt's going to look like. We can always go in here and change the size of it to find a size that we feel maybe looks better. Um, we can also go in here, and there's another really neat part of this uh, mock-up. Uh, so let's say we like this centered. This is where we want it to end up. This, is, this looks good. But maybe the color of the shirt doesn't look so good. Maybe we're like, nah, I don't, I don't not feeling the gray. So what we can do is, again, I've closed this little folder here, and we can go into the folder called Colors. And this is a really nice feature of this mock-up. So if I turn off the little eyeball on the top one, we get to see what it looks like on a black shirt. But we also have tons of other colors. So let's say I want a color that might match Trump's golden hair. Maybe that looks good. All right, gold or orange or pink I don't know but now we're able to see what that design would look like on different colored shirts so again maybe we're deciding okay what what color should this be printed on you know we're gonna go buy a bunch of shirts it's pretty handy to know what it's going to look like on that colored shirt before you actually go out and buy them so again this is why a mock-up saves you a lot of time and effort and if you're presenting it to somebody, this is the best way to do it. All right, so let's say I like that. Maybe I like that brown and sort of yellow combination. Um, so that's looking really good. This is mocked up nicely. I can show this to a client, and they're going to be impressed. They're going to say, okay, that looks great. Um, one other thing, very minor, they also have this backgrounds thing. I wasn't even going to show it, but 
inside the folder backgrounds, you can have like the shirt sitting on grass or a grungy background or wood. Personally, I mean, it, it doesn't change the design at all. It only changes the way it's presented. However, it's there. You can play with it. If you think it's cool, you can, you can mess around with that too. Anyways, make sure you save that. All right, what I'd like to see you guys do is when you are doing your own designs, it'd be really great to mock up your designs. It'd be really great to show mock ups so that when you're presenting this um, design to somebody, you can actually show them and help them uh, to see what it's going to look like. Because, like I said, a lot of people are not graphic design minded. A lot of them have trouble visualizing what things are going to look like. And even as designers, we have a hard time sometimes visualizing what something's going to look like before we actually do it. And a lot of times when a mock-up is created, you might make changes you wouldn't have made if you didn't do the mock-up. All right, so make sure you save that. Thanks for watching. Till next time, see you later.